In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set page numbers in Microsoft Word 2016. Now, this is specifically uh, related or focused to um, documents whereby you might be writing dissertations or research reports or you know anything related uh, to degrees of professional uh, documentation, and you need to set. Uh, page numbers as uh, they are required um, so in this particular example what you see here we can see that we've got a front page here on the left and it doesn't have a page number which is typically what we see and then we have a second page here and we see that a page number starts and we've got a table of contents and a table of figures and we can see that that page number uh, carries on through and a table um, for figures again and we can see that it carries through again still but as we can see on page 5 now we can see the introduction which is a main body of document in this particular instance we're looking at um, dissertation or uh, degree uh, level papers we can see that the main body uh, starts with page one and that's typically what we want to see so we can see page five actually starts at page one rather than page five and then we can see that the next page down is uh, page two so the reason I'm doing this video is because it can be a little bit frustrating if you don't know what to look for in order to to do this so what we're going to do is we're going to go across to another example and what we can see is we have our front page, uh, we've got our contents, we've got a list of figures and we've got an introduction uh, which is which is here. Let me just remove that section there. And none of them have page numbers on. So what we're going to do is if I was to apply page numbers as is now and we'll just do that at the bottom of the page we can see that we have uh, page number one right through to number four and we typically don't want to see that uh, because you know we don't want the page number on the front page and if we are working on documents with contents and figures etc essentially anything that's not main body of document uh, we typically don't want to start the page number from uh, page number one. We want our main body of document to start from page number one. But right now it's showing us page number four. Now if you just want to remove um, page number one uh, from the front page and start on a different first page, we can just simply select different first page there. And what that does is you can see it's removed um, the the page number one uh, from or the number one from the front page and it's just started off at, at number two from the contents but if like the other document you actually want to start page number one from the uh, main body of text uh, what we'll do is we will show you how to do that now so what we're going to do is we're going to keep front page contents and the list of figures um, as the same um, section if you like and what we're going to do is we're going to split out the the introduction uh, page which is going to then become the main body um, so to do that what we need to do is we essentially say on the list of figures page we just get right to the bottom here uh, there we go so if we do get right to the bottom and what we want to do is we want to go to layout breaks and what we're going to do is we're going to select um, set under section breaks we're going to select next page and as you can see it says insert a section break and start the new section on the next page so what that's going to do is it's going to insert a, an invisible section break which it just has done and if I just remove this to the top there uh, we can see there that if I now press enter 
what it's going to do is it actually starts a, a new page which is still in section one and the introduction moves down to the bottom so we know that our section break has successfully been been created so what this essentially does now is we have uh, one section which is going to be front page contents and the figures and then we've got section two which is introduction and anything else from there so what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and we'll insert the page numbers again. So we'll go to insert page number and in this case we'll do bottom of page. And we can see now page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4. But the difference here we can see as I said we've got section 1 and we've got section 2 now. So we've got 3 in section 1 and 1 in section 2. So the first thing we want to do is we want to select different first page so we can remove that uh, the number from the front page because we don't need that. And then what we'll also do is on uh, page 4 we don't want to link this to the previous so we'll just unselect that and then we'll remove that for now and as you can see it's left the section one pages so two and three and what we could do is we could just for example we could format the page number so we change this to this number format it's not the main body and then what we want to do then is from the main body of text um, or the main body of the document rather is we'll just go to insert again page number again we'll do bottom of the page and number one so what we'll do here now is we'll just quickly format this and we want to do page number in we're going to start this at page one so you can see it's letting us now start this at page one under section two so we'll close that and now if we want to say we've completed the introduction and we now want to go on to the next page we can see that it continues the number into page 2 and it will do that all the way through um, until you decide whether you want to create a new section as we did with section 1 and 2 so that's essentially how you can um, create the page numbers how you want them within a document and this is particularly useful for um, you know research papers as I said at the start and dissertations and uh, you any university work or professional documentation that you uh, wish to create if you got any questions drop them in the comment section if you found this video useful please do like and show your support by subscribing I do upload a number of different videos relating to security general networking um, and how to such as this one as well so please do um, share like comment and hit the notifications bell thank you for watching